they extract the preserved blood from the mosquito and bingo, dino DNA. Jurassic Park's whole mosquito trapped in amber method for cloning dinosaurs was of course a little unrealistic. But for the San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance, scientists were already onto the cloning animals with preserved DNA idea decades before that movie came out. The frozen zoo is the largest collection of living cell lines and gametes anywhere in the world. Marlis Hauk here is the curator of the Frozen Zoo, which celebrates its 50th anniversary this year. There are, of course, many big animals at the San Diego Zoo, but for half a century, the frozen zoo has been freezing vials of skin, egg, and sperm cells from more than 1,300 species. Do you have to feed them? Ah, very good question. Once they're frozen, we don't have to feed them. Here is the man who started it all, Dr. Kurt Benershka, who began banking these samples before cloning technology even existed. He always said... You must collect things for reasons you don't yet understand. Well, by keeping the cells of more than 11,000 individual animals alive, the frozen zoo has been able to contribute to saving critically endangered animals over the years. In the 1980s, their samples helped take the population of the California condor from around 25 to now more than 500. As the population of different animals decline, we don't know which species is going to become more rare and endangered in the future. <laughs> Today, as they continue to try and bank more and more samples, the frozen and Zoo's next big mission is to train facilities around the world to do the same thing. That way, we have scientists all around the globe who can help capture this biodiversity. And guys, biodiversity is key here since when you have these frozen samples at your disposal, that means you can bring in more genetic diversity down the line to a dwindling population that are all vulnerable to the same things.